coolin' with Jay, they know we coolin' What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for cooling with Jay as always. So guys, in today's video, we are doing a tech review. So my plan is to start doing more of these now that I finally have the bike back. I plan on doing tech reviews on uh, helmet, my GoPro, settings on my GoPro, uh, mods on my bike, all sorts of things on camera settings, all of that. So in today's video, I'm going to review my uh, GoPro mount setup, okay? not the helmet in particular but just more so of the gopro mount and the housing case i purchased why i have it how i love it the most so far and all of that so let's get into this video This is my AGV Castanova R helmet, okay? So this is the paint scheme. That, so that's referring to the AGV's paint scheme for this particular helmet. And then also I have the uh, a reflective visor. It comes with the clear um, in the box. I went with the, the, the reflective. So that's, that's, you know, pretty much it for the helmet. Uh, I love it. Like I said, I will go over a detailed review of this helmet, breaking that down in a future video to come. But in this video, I'm about this puppy right here in particular. So this is my custom fitted um, GoPro helmet. So as you can see here, this is the left side. And this guy is the right side. Okay. So I'll real quickly get it into this puppy here. So this is the GoPro housing case okay this is what i purchased this is your traditional housing case obviously right traditional right this is the one that has the cutout right for the audio so it's a cutout for it so obviously you know done so the case looks fully put on right the only catch to this is of course there's no place for the 3m microphone so for those of us who use the GoPro Hero, I believe it's six through uh, seven now, or five through seven, you have to use the 3.5 millimeter adapter. So what most vloggers do is they have to step down to a four or three, so that way they can use, they don't have to have this brick. So this guys is my Shoei RF 1200. It's not my old helmet. I just have laying around now, no longer in use, but I'm demonstrating this because on this side of the helmet, as you can tell, I have tape. So this tape right here is the double-sided clear tape 3M that I use to put the, the uh, 3.5 millimeter adapter. So I pretty much put it here, and of course, I would put the GoPro there. So it's a lot of junk. So it's a lot of junk, guys, on the side of your helmet, right? Because you don't want that obviously writing. And obviously it doesn't look sleek or sexy on top of that. So I pretty much was just stuck using the six because um, I wanted to upgrade to the seven, but at the time I didn't see a reason or purpose to upgrade because obviously all these different setups, you don't have something like this. But finally we do. So this housing essentially houses your GoPro and the 3.5 millimeter adapter all at the same time, which is super cool, okay? The only drawback is it's not one of those like waterproof kind of housings and all of that, but it does the job well enough for me. All right, guys. So this is called, this housing 
is called, or at least what, what, what I found it as, is a Ulanzi V2 housing case, okay? I will, of course, have all this in the description down below and hopefully some links on where you can find all this stuff. But yeah, so this is pretty much what that is called. So how this works is basically, as you can tell on the back, what you do is you pop this off, okay? See, pop it off. This pops out, okay? And then you just push out the GoPro. See, pop it out, see? Slide it back in. As you can see, GoPro. Hero 7 now, I finally upgraded, because like I said, now that I have the upgrade, basically what I'm doing, is I was like, okay, great. Now I can use it. Uh, this is a filter. So for those of you like, why is it gold on the front? This is a ND filter. I will go over the, my ND filters and all of that and all my settings in a separate video. But this is pretty much how this works. Slide in the back of that. I missed a little hook. There we go. And then of course, for this part, obviously you can do it different ways. I have it where I turn it sideways and pop it like that. And see, there you go. Now this top part comes with a housing for like vlogging, right? So this is primarily was intended, I guess, for vloggers, right? So that way you can put a microphone attachment here, you know, have a little lavalier mic or whatever, or shotgun mic on top. But for us moto vloggers, this is perfect because now it works where that we can have the 3.5 millimeter here. We don't have to worry about any excess junk or cables or tape or anything else. It's just all one housing piece, okay? So, um, pros or cons of this thing. Like I said, my only, my only con is it's not a full protective on the back. Um, as you can tell here, it is, you know, you can see, isn't a full casing as far as that goes, but as you can tell, because of how it's designed, the GoPro doesn't move in the mount at all. Like, there's no movement. This is in there. Like it's like once it's in, it's not moving around. I just hate that's not actual like you know complete housing on the back to protect the glass. Also, the front as well. So for moto vlogging, I wished this part came out longer, right? So that way, this could be protected. Okay. So this is my other, you know, my old one, like I said, see, it has a hole on the side. So what, what happens is, same GoPro, same everything, right? This slides into here. But see, as you can tell, it's protected, see? It's the actual shell around this part. So that part I love. So again, if I can machine this and make it, I'll make a killing, because people out there need this, but, they need it to be in this form, okay? So that's kind of catch. We need this case for the adapter, but we need this form. So that's basically where we're at, and like I said, why uh, I love this case now, and why I think with this case, this pretty much solves every type of issue we have. I upgraded guys to the seven because of just how smooth it is, right? For doing moto vlogs and being on a being on a bike and a lot of vibrations, like it being so smooth, I love it. That's why I upgraded. And also they do trade-in. So at the time I did my trade-in, I traded mine into Best Buy. They honored the trade-in value. So I pretty much, you know, got a hundred back for each um, GoPro Hero 6, upgraded to my seven. And that's currently what I'm using now. In a future video, I will go over the GoPro settings. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like all settings as one, GoPro settings as one particular video and then camera settings as, as a different video, I'm not sure, but those will be future reviews to come. Like I said, I wanna start making more, more content, not just bike related, but kind of going over how I make all these videos happen. I've had some people ask about my shirt. So um, again, I'm not 100% sure how I will do it, but essentially this is my shirt. Of course, the same shirt you see all the time. Uh, same shirt you see on my Instagram and on my social media pages, right? Cooling with Jay. Um, and of course, on the back, it gives all 
my, uh, I guess all my handles on the backs about my shirt and if they can get one. I'm trying to work out with different vendor to see if I can get like shirts made, but just having this on the front, but not having like the check me out stuff on the back. Cause of course people don't want to say it's their, it's their shirt. Like it's me, but they don't want to say it like, like have it say, check me out. Cause it's not them. So if anybody's interested, let me know comments down below. Like I said, if enough people are interested, I might try to get like a bulk order cause it's cheaper that way. If I can get like a, like one massive bulk order and I'd order like one shirt here and one shirt there. Thank you for um, watching. Please, if you like this content, please subscribe. Also share it with anybody out there who you know that might be having issues with their GoPro. Like I said, I have a video on how to do the helmet mounting if they need that, of course about this. So please like, please share, and also please subscribe if you haven't already. As I, as I, Of course, as you already know, it helps out my growth of my channel. And with that, I will see y'all in the next video.